Hello viewers. Today I wanted to show some of my equipment. Kind of give you a bit of a double video. Here we have two EP Ever charge controllers. This one is the uh, EP Ever A series. This is the EP Ever AN series. Uh, this one is 40 amp hours or a 40 amp uh, MPPT charge controller. Uh, this one's 20 amps. Today we have uh, 80 watts of solar uh, connected to each one. We have these four identical panels and two are connected in series and two are connected in parallel. And what we're looking at today is the difference between series and parallel. So if we go here, we're getting 16 volts at 2.5 amps. And that's giving us 13.6 at 2.8 amps into the battery. And here we have 30 volts at 1.3 amps and that's giving us the 13.6 at 2.8 uh, amps into the battery. So they're both, regardless of series or parallel, pretty much putting out the same power, 2.6, 2.7 amps. Um, it is a pretty close tie. We have uh, the communication cable between the two charge controllers so they don't start arguing about battery power with each other. Uh, and both charge controllers are connected to a single 20 amp hour LifePo 4 battery. And then for the draw, we're just using my cooler. And uh, this is what it's pulling, 54 watts continuous or around 4.3 amps so it would seem to be when you're working with uh, this low amperage this low uh, voltage there's not really any difference between connecting in series or in parallel one will give you twice the volts but only half the amps and the other one's going to give you half the volts, but twice the amps. And in the end, you're pretty much getting the same amount into the battery. Now, if you're using a pulse width modulator for your uh, charge controller, your mileage will vary greatly. There's, there's no sense on running the higher... Uh, voltage because the pulse width modulators do not convert uh, voltage into amperage all they do is restrict the voltage coming out to the battery uh, and they'll pass the amps through so in this case for here uh, if this was a PWM charge controller I would have my 31 volts my 1.1 amps going into the battery would be 13.5, 13.6 volts, but this here would still be 1.1 amps. Whereas on this side, we're getting 16 volts at 2.2 amps, and if it was PWM, we would be getting 13.6 volts at 2.2 amps. Uh, so, I suppose it makes a difference if you're running a PWM uh, pulse width modulator charge controller, but when you're running the um, MPPT charge controllers, it really doesn't uh, uh, it doesn't make much difference which way you connect them. You're going to get about the same output. Aside from that, that's all I have for now for you. I hope you enjoyed the video and the demonstration. Please leave a comment if you feel the need. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.